guys, welcome back to Digital Slang. Welcome back to the channel. Back with another video. TWS, the i500 Pro from PodgeBuy.com. They are here in studio. We're gonna check them out. Upgraded chip, rename, remap, GPS, all of the good stuff. If we take a look at the box here, on the front it is the embossed picture of the buds and on the sides we do get the real logo and the real text and the real logo there and on the back a picture of the pods with the real text here on the back so crazy one to one now these are coming from california so fast shipping if you can get a hold of them before they run out of stock but let's check them out we're going to open them up see how they are Let's open the box, get into it, put that aside. This will be the user's manual, of course, AirPods Pro, just like the real deal as we get into the pods themselves. Now this will have the text on the back as well. Also, in the case we do have the lightning charger to charge, sadly, no extra silicone tips. I was expecting some silicone tips in there, but we'll have to go without for now. But if we take a look, you can see the text already through the back. Let's open this up. Take off the plastic, and here we are. So again, these are from PodsBuy, and PodsBuy did send these over for me to review. However, I am going to give you my real opinions on these, and if I like them, I'm gonna tell you, and what I don't like about them, I'm gonna tell you that as well. But if we take a look at the case, if we open up the lid, we do have our LED light here on the front. And there is text on the inside and on the bottom, of course, is the lightning port to charge. On the back, we do have the hinge and the text under the hinge. Now, this hinge is not metal, it is plastic. And of course, our button to connect. So the writing, the fact that we get the text is really cool. Let's take a look at the buds themselves. And again, you do get the text on the inside of the lid. The buds, you do have the stem on the bottom. Now, this is not like the originals where it's just a chrome ring. These are like the old style, the old ones, the Air 2s and, and so on. It's all chrome on the bottom and that is not how the real ones are today. And of course, if we take off the silicone tip, we have a stem inside and again, not like the originals. So that's disappointing. I was hoping these might have that and we would get a true clone. Put them back in the case, we'll try and connect them, see how they sound. We open up the lid, they come right up, not your AirPods Pro, we hold the button down, and again, we're gonna get that H1 chip animation, the real animation. It's connecting, and here is our media control, we're gonna go in through all that. I'll throw these in my ear, and we'll see what these things can do. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you all the pros and the cons, and if these things are worth it. So if we go into settings, so if we click on the little blue info button, we come in, and yes, we can rename them, and we can remap the double tap. However, it's not the original interface, and I'm disappointed. So there's a bunch of things that I don't like already about these. Automatic ear detection, the mic, you can go in and change the mic. Double tap on the left, we're gonna make that play and pause and double tap on the right, we're gonna make that go to the next track. So uh, I'm not too impressed so far by these, but we'll just start the testing and we'll see if they're worth the money. Right now, I'm a little skeptical that they are because there's a lot of things I don't like. The, the silicone tips aren't like the originals, the bottom chrome is not the same, and we're already a few months into these things and they should be getting better and better at this point. But we'll start the testing, we'll see what these things can do. Let's do a mic test. What up guys, TWS, the i500 Pros. Now these are supposed to be the upgraded version, but we will see. Let me know how the mic sounds, if it's good, if it's bad, if it's crap, let me know. We'll jump right into the next test and we'll test the sound quality. So actually the sound is, is really good. I'm impressed by the sound and it's not bad. It's, it's loud, they're very loud. And there is some bass and it's probably my favorite thing about these so far. So we got some pros and we got some cons. We'll talk about them at the end of the video, but we're just gonna keep going with the testing and we'll try the touch controls next. Now I did adjust it in the settings. Now the left side double tap should play and pause and the right side double tap should go to the next track. So we'll try that out. We'll play some more music. Left side. 
It pauses, left side again, plays, pauses. So it does work and you do get the, on the real ones, when you do the force touch on either bug, you get that little clicking sound. And even though these are touch controls, you do get that original clicking sound. So that's cool. We'll try the right side, see if it goes to the next track. Play the music. Two taps on the right. Next track, do it again. Next track, so touch controls work just like they should. Now we're gonna see if the GPS is real or not. We'll go into Find My. And we're already there, AirPods Pro number five. And it does pick it right up. So the GPS is real on here. So rename, remap. And I'm, I am disappointed that in rename and remap, it's not the real interface like the originals, but Find My does work. So GPS works, the sound quality is pretty good. The touch controls work well. Let me know how the mic sounds. Next test, we will try the in-ear detection. We'll play some more music and we will try the right and the left bud. Music is playing, it pauses, put it back in. Now, I can tell I hear the noise and I hear the clicks when I put them back in my ear. The touch control is very sensitive. And when you put them back in your ear, if you hold it for too long, it's going to activate your touch control. So you gotta be careful with that. They are very sensitive and it's good and bad, right? Because when you're taking them in and out of your ear, you might activate them. But when you need to use them, they work very well. So left side, we'll try that. Play music. Take it out. It pauses back in. And plays. So in-ear detection does work. And that's going to be the same for using one at a time. You can use one at a time. Battery life on here is going to be about four, four and a half hours. At least that's what it says. I will test that out and see. And it says you can get 18 hours of life with the case. So we'll test all that over the next week or two. And I'll let you guys know if that's true, if it's false. We'll check it out. Next test, we will check the latency. See if there's any delay between audio and video. We'll go into YouTube and play a video. Check it out. Definitely some delay. Again, that is disappointing. We will try another video just to see. All right, guys, major delay watching content. So because of that, I can't recommend them. And honestly, it's some of the worst delay that I've seen on any clone to date. And I've tested a ton. So because of that delay, it's a deal breaker. It just is, I can't recommend them. And there are some good things, so it's disappointing. The, the, the text on the back of the case is cool. The packaging was exactly the same as the originals. There are some other things I do not like. The interface for me needs to be upgraded to more of the real thing. These things have been out for a few months now, so we should be there already because I know they exist because I've already seen it. So these should have that for this price. The bottom chrome is not a real one-to-one. -one. And the stem on the on the uh, silicone tips, it's still not like the originals, and I already know that they're out there. So, to spend this type of money on something, it's already playing music. I'm not even have I don't even have them in my ears, so they're buggy. The the delay is just too much to overcome, and because of that, I just cannot recommend these. So, it is what it is, guys. Hopefully, they come out with an upgraded pair, a better pair, and when they do, I'll be happy to test them out. But for now, that's it. We'll be back with more videos, guys, soon. I got a bunch more lined up just for this weekend alone. Holidays are coming. Christmas Day, I'm going to announce a giveaway. But for now, Urbanista Stockholm video is coming out. I got a smartwatch 5 coming, a clone of the real deal coming this weekend, too. So I got a bunch lined up for this weekend, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.